In this video, we're going to talk about force and acceleration type simulations. Both the force and acceleration type simulations have two options, single state and multiple state. Single state simulations mean that you'll subject the vehicle to a single set of forces or accelerations. Multiple state simulations mean that you'll subject the vehicle to a series of forces or a series of accelerations. We'll start with a single state force simulation. Start out by entering the lateral, longitudinal, and vertical force applied at the center of gravity. As well as the steering wheel angle and the velocity. You can also toggle if you want to include the effect of gravity in your simulation. A multiple state force simulation is similar, except now you'll define a series of forces. Enter the force information in the data table. As well as the velocity and steering wheel angle. You can also add data points by clicking on the chart. Acceleration type simulations are exactly the same, except now you'll define accelerations instead of forces. You can also import force or acceleration information from an Excel or CSV file. This is useful if you want to perform a track replay based off of data acquisition. In this example, we're going to import acceleration data from an Excel file. To do this, go to Acceleration, Import, and select Excel or CSV file. Select the file of interest. First, select the horizontal axis type. In this example, we're going to select Time. Then, select your data. When you're done selecting your data, click on OK. This will automatically create a new multiple state acceleration simulation containing the data that you selected. For acceleration type simulations, when the horizontal axis is selected as time or distance, a track map will become available. This can help you visualize the data that you imported 